Well, what is up, everybody? Pastor Susan coming at you with day two of our 30-day journey of wanting wisdom. Today, we're going to be diving into Proverbs 8. It's going to be real simple. For the next 30 days, we're going to be going through one chapter every single day. Super simple. If you watched the video yesterday, on July 7th, we read chapter 7. On July 8th today, we're going to be checking out chapter 8. Tomorrow, July 9th, chapter 9, so on and so forth. So I encourage you guys, every day, whip out your Bibles and start getting in the habit of chasing wisdom by reading a chapter every single day and all this video is meant to do it's meant to be a tool to you let me be clear on something this video is not meant to be a replacement for you reading the chapter yourself we don't have time in these videos to go through every verse or break it down for you just want to highlight a key uh, a few key points to help you understand and really get the best benefit out of this that you can but i encourage you whether you do it before or after read the chapter yourself if we're going to chase wisdom if we're really going to go in this journey we're going to have to do it on ourselves this is an individual relationship between you and god that you need to be engaging yourself i just want to be a tool to you I want to be an asset to you so i can help encourage you and help bring some clarity to maybe some of the things that you're understanding so we're going to dive right now into chapter eight at first glance you probably read chapter eight if you haven't already maybe you're looking through it right now the bible in front of you and the first the first thought is okay pastor yeah I, I know you've talked about this guy named paul you talked a little about this guy named david but you never mentioned anything about this woman named wisdom <laughs> And at first glance, obviously in this chapter, we're hearing a ton about wisdom referred to as a she, referred to as a woman. And the point here is that this is not an actual woman. This is the idea of wisdom being what's called personified as an actual individual. Commentaries give a few different reasons why King Solomon, the author of the book of Proverbs, would have done this. One of them, and I believe probably to be the most crucial, is that he personified this idea of wisdom to being a person, to being a woman, to help you understand that wisdom is not just some inanimate object that does have no value. That just like our human relationships, that as much as I, you and I seek relationships, seek love and affection from a real human being, that's how much that you and I should desire wisdom because it will benefit every day of our lives, set up success for our futures if we will desire it to be that beneficial, that valuable to us as it is to have relationships with real people. And some of you are watching this video, maybe maybe you're like me in my teenage years and in my, in my young years, maybe you're like, man, wisdom being personified as a as a woman some of you are chasing women man so hard can i tell you your life would be so much benefited if you would chase wisdom even harder and some of you could say for yourself and i could say this to myself time and time over that there were women in my life that i chased because i didn't have any wisdom can i get an amen in the comments for that maybe you've been there maybe you've been with women maybe women you've been with a guy that you're like man if i had had some wisdom back then i never even would have engaged in that relationship in the first place because the reality is the bible says that he who finds a wife he who finds a good spouse finds a good thing can i tell you he who chases wisdom will be blessed but i want to encourage you just a few two two key points here that i want to point out in this chapter and i love it starting in verse 22 it starts talking about the idea of how god created wisdom before the world was ever even created. I'm, I think it's so beautiful. Check it out. Check it out. Verse 22. The Lord created me at the beginning of the work. Remember now, me, this is wisdom referring to herself as an individual. He created me before the beginning of his work. Ages ago, I was set up first before ever the beginning of the earth. When there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no springs abounding in the water. Before the mountains had even shaped. Before the hills, I was brought forth. And I think that just goes to show us again. I want you to understand over the next 30 days, we want to learn the value of wisdom. Before God ever even placed us on this earth, here's reality. God knows everything. Although God's intention was for the world to be perfect, flawless, sinless, this perfect relationship with him, God knew because of our brokenness. God knew that we would sin and we'd fall away from him. And before we ever even sinned against God, before we ever put ourselves in a position where we, we would need to navigate through a broken and hurting world, you realize before we ever even were in that position that God had already created for us the tools to how we would navigate through this broken life. That before we ever even made the bad decision to sin, that God would give us wisdom to help us make good decisions. Can I tell you that before God ever even knew that you would step up into the journey of life, God had already equipped you. God had already given the things that you would need to live a blessed and successful life. That's the God that you serve. 
that before God knew that we were going to fall. God knew that we were going to sin against him. And he said, I love my people so much that even though they're going to rebel against me, I'm going to equip them with things of wisdom so they can still live the closest of the blessed life that they can that I had originally intended for them. Do you understand how much God loves you today? Do you understand the wisdom he wants to give to you today? But I love it. This idea of wisdom, last point I want to make real quick before we end this video, is this whole idea starting in verse 32. The idea of the value of wisdom that it brings to our decision making. Check it out, verse 32. And now, O oh sons, this is Lady Wisdom speaking to us. O oh sons, listen to me. Blessed are those that keep my ways. Keep the ways of my wisdom. Hear the instruction and be wise and do not neglect it. Verse 34, all the way to 36. Blessed is the one who listens to me, watching daily at my gates, eagerly seeking and waiting for wisdom, waiting beside my doors. Check this out. For whoever finds me, for whoever finds wisdom, finds life and obtains favor from the Lord. But check this last one out. But he who fails to find me, he who fails to find me, injures himself. And all who hate me love death. I encourage you with this last thought, the importance of having wisdom in our decision making. Sometimes in life, we get caught up with, of course we do, we live in a broken world and there are real tragedies that happen every day to people that are in no way, shape, or, in no, in no way, shape, or form their fault. There are things so tragic that have happened to you and our community is here to love and encourage you. But there are sometimes decisions in our lives that we have made because of our lack of wisdom that it says right there, have injured ourselves. He who fails to find me, to use me, to exercise wisdom, injures himself. You guys can understand that God's word is so valuable to you, that the Bible is a guide that God wants to use to encourage, teach, and sometimes even correct you. Why? Because God loves you and wants to avoid you being injured by the effect of your own decisions. We talked about it yesterday, the wages of sin and death. You gotta understand this is not just God's rule book because he's a big bully God. God cares for you and he knows what's best for you. But if we lack wisdom, here's what it says, all who hate me love death because we cannot live a life of poor decisions and still live a life that's full of blessing. We need to be exercising wisdom every day. Some of you may know people in your life that throughout their entire lives have made awful, awful decisions time and time again. They've made best friends with poor decisions. Unfortunately, those people today probably are not living the best of lives. And it's not because the consequences of our broken world, it's not because the devil uh, is attacking them, which he is. God, the devil, the Bible says that the devil wants to kill, steal, and destroy, but it's not even because of those things. Sometimes we get ourselves in predicaments simply because of our poor decisions. And this is why wisdom is crucial. God wants you to exercise wisdom to prevent you from some of the consequences in your life that will come directly from poor decisions. Before God ever created the world, he gave you a tool to get through life. His word and his wisdom. Simply my question to you friends is will you love his instruction? Will you be wise enough to choose to follow God's wisdom to get yourself through your daily decisions and get yourself through your relationships? Hey guys, love you so much. This is Pastor Susie. Come check out my stream later today. Today's sub Saturday. Love to encourage all of you. Thank you so much guys for all you do. Come back again tomorrow. Same time, same place right here on my YouTube channel. I'm going to be posting Proverbs chapter 9. Till then guys, love you so much guys. Go bless guys. Take care.